Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwald, and we're addressing a very serious issue this week. Uh, the, a German court has ruled that the circumcision of an infant uh, is an assault on the male child's body and should be outlawed. Uh, this can have ramifications, as we know the uh, country of uh, Norway and some other uh, countries have outlawed uh, ritual slaughter for animals, saying that it's cruel and harmful and the next step could be circumcision. Uh, and we have to be concerned with this. Uh, someone told me this week that uh, someone asked him uh, about his circumcision and he says, did it hurt? So he says he doesn't know if it hurt, but he could walk for a whole year afterwards. Uh, that's a, a joke, but this issue of circumcision is a very serious issue. Uh, one of the positives uh, that can be ascribed to the male circumcision is that as a result of the age of AIDS epidemic, we have found that the experts say that uh, circumcision of males reduces the incidence of uh, AIDS for men by about 50% if they have uh, sex with an infected woman. And uh, that could be brought as an argument that the circumcision is done on the children for the sake of health. But um, be that as it may be, oh, what are we Jews supposed to do when we are faced with this issue? Um, the issue is for the Jews that we are commanded, that Abraham was commanded to circumcise himself and all the people of his household. And this is a commandment that we have been following for thousands and thousands of years. So the truth of the matter is, is that we have to believe that God would not ask us to do anything that's harmful to ourselves and to our bodies. Uh, we could also argue that uh, a woman giving birth to a child uh, is doing something harmful to her body, uh, except that she's making that decision as an adult. And the issue here is, what about an infant? So the truth is that we have to believe that God is asking us to do something that is really good for us. And that ultimately the scientists and the experts will ultimately find uh, that it really is beneficial uh, to the human being. And if not, we may have to pick ourselves up and move to a country that uh, supports circumcision. Uh, it won't be the first time where uh, we have to make such uh, horrible decisions. Let's hope that this issue will be resolved uh, soon and that Jews will be able to practice their religion uh, in freedom and uh, in good health. Um, so, mazel tov to those of you who are having male babies and are having circumcisions.